Remember the name Sebastian Kalinowski? He was a 15 year old schoolboy who lost his life at the hands of his own mom and a bodybuilding enthusiast and steroid abuser partner in a sustained campaign of cruelty. Again, it was sustained. Now, Sebastian had his own life in Poland, where he lived with his dad, but he came to the UK to live with his mom sometime at the end of 2020 or 2021. He was here for less than a year before tragically he lost his life in August last year. Now Sebastian was routinely punched and kicked and beaten, sometimes with a bed slat and sometimes with a staircase spindle, or he was whipped with a cable over minor incidences in his home in Huddersfield, because as his parents would say, he would misbehave. A rumour which was dismissed by a school he attended. Now Sebastian was apparently a model student, he was learning English and he was making friends, he was acclimating to his new life. Now, because of how bad his mum, 36-year-old Agineska Kalidowski and the partner Andrei Latsoweski, also 36, hurt him, 15-year-old Sebastian had 13 untreated broken ribs, which led to sepsis and then organ failure. He ultimately became unconscious in his own home and they left him for two and a half hours before phoning an ambulance. Now, of course, both adults deny ending the 15-year-old's life but they did admit to child cruelty and also manslaughter. Okay, so in court, the mom says that she was forced to treat her son badly by the hands of her partner because she was afraid. She was controlled by him. And she says that whenever she disciplined her son, she made sure that she was gentler and also did it less often. But CCTV that was set up in the home, which was used to control Sebastian remotely, shows that this wasn't the case. These two adults were despicable and they were as bad as each other. They both belittled the teenager, called him names and also he was made to address his stepdad as Sir or Mr. Even at school Sebastian couldn't get a break because sometimes Latsoweski would go to the school and pick up Sebastian and also he would threaten him in front of teachers to the point where Sebastian was almost crying. And at one point a teacher did have to get involved but then the stepdad says that Sebastian would only pretend to cry to make others look bad. Now that Sobeski also said on the stand that he is not a monster and it hurts that prosecutors would try to paint him to be one because that's not the case. And now the pair are due to be sentenced sometime in September. Condolences to Sebastian's family. Stay safe. Safe.